There we go, guys. Another game, another win for the Reds. I've been saying that quite a lot this season, and it's another win for the Reds. Huddersfield versus Barnsley. It would have been a beautiful away day to go to today. Huddersfield away is always a great away day. Uh, we've got a great fan base. Obviously, the Yorkshire rival banter is always great in that stand where you sit next to each other in the same stand. We took them on today. Them obviously still in relegation battle. They do have a bit of a gap between them and um, Derby below them. But we've come away 1-0. A 1-0 thrashing, I'd like to say. And as you can see by the title, DK with the overhead kick has won us the game. And what a goal it was. Like I say, a 1-0 thrashing. I'll get more into it. But we should have had 4 or 5 tonight. I think Huddersfield have one shot on target. We defended beautifully. And um, second half, we really got going. We missed a few. We created some great chances. We missed loads of chances. I think Huddersfield cleared the ball off the line about four times. So fair play to them for that. But we could have had four or five tonight. But we've won one nil. We've got the three points. And I do believe, as I'm speaking, Reading have just drew nil nil as their game were like a minute or two after ours. And they have drew nil nil, which is beautiful. So we now have a little bit of a gap on Reading, even though we dropped points last week. We come into this game obviously off the back of some great form and we slipped up against Coventry who outplayed us on the day and got the win and secured their safety, I do believe mathematically, or oh, it's there and thereabouts for them. Like I said, they beat us tactically and they beat us on the pitch 2-0, so fair play to them and Mark Robbins. And um, these come into this game still down there, but like I say, with a bit of leeway, I think they were on 47 before the game and Dyby were on 43, so they'd have to lose every single game for them to go down, but I think Huddersfield will be just about safe. We had to win this game with the likes of Bournemouth winning early. Obviously, Brentford and Swansea dropped points yesterday. But obviously, um, Reading drew tonight and we have won. Which then leaves us three points off Bournemouth. I do believe Bournemouth are 47. Swansea are... Not 47. Bournemouth are 77. Swansea are 76. Brentford are 75 and we're 74. But Brentford do have a game in hand. But yeah, with four points... I do believe it's four points in front of Reading with... Um, Three games to play. So if you can win one more, win one and draw one, I do think that's us mathematically done. Or there or there about. So it's in our hands, basically. Um, I do believe they have some two tough games coming up. We've got Rotherham, who lost again tonight, despite going one up in the third minute. They're going to be scrapping for the lives, and I'm not sure who um, Reading have got. But yeah, today, um, first half, Huddersfield defended us well, um, nullified us. We couldn't create that much. We had a few half chances. Uh, Woodrow had a pop shot from edge of box, which went down the keeper's throat in the first half. Freeze had a pop shot edge of box that went down the keeper's throat in the first half. They were the main two chances. They were a penalty shout, but it was um, too distant for me. The second half, we came out a different team. DK came on for Freeze just before half time. Apparently, Freeze pulled up with something, but I'm not sure how long he'll be out for or what's wrong with him. But we'll find that out soon from when the journalist tweet. But the second half, we turned it on. DK made a huge difference. We had so many chances. The um, crossing from Mauer that puts it deep into the box where the ref panics and blows the whistle and gives them a free kick. They were so dangerous for us tonight. Obviously, DK, massive, massive threat in the air. Morris, when he gets on the ball, he just runs at players. We ended up playing Callum Britton in the middle for the last 15 minutes, which were nice to see. And I thought Sorbal did great back in the centre half. We defended great. Shout out to Callum Britton, though. The, the interception that he did, Huddersfield did have a breakaway and he did an incredible interception which started the attack. He ended up with Morris on the left-hand side who shimmied past his man, dinked it over and DK, I wouldn't say on mark, but he had a lot of room and he put the overhead kick into the into the back of the net to put us 1-0 up and that one as the game. Like I say, we had so many chances. Uh, one where one of their keepers headed it off the underside of the bar, then Helic hit it onto the crossbar. Um, they cleared it off the line a number three times. Uh, Morris put one into the side netting with a little flick on editor. We could have had four or five tonight. Goal difference wise, I do think we're only one behind Reading. But um, it's the three points all that matters. Yes, a lot of these screwed chances could cost us big time in the playoffs. But like I say, tonight is the main thing that matters. Three points and um, back in winning form, obviously. Massive game start the Rotherham. It's a must win for Rotherham if they want to stay up. Yes, they've got games in hand, but they've got all Saturday and Brentford midweek. They've got two hard games and two must win games if Rotherham wants to stay up. So they're going to be up for it. Another great game that'd be to go to for fans against Rotherham. You know, massive Yorkshire derby, but unfortunately we're not there. But we've got the three points tonight and Reading have dropped points, which is beautiful. And we're only three points off Bournemouth in third. 
But it's still in Ireland and it's still all to play for, guys, with three games left. I will see you in the next game against Rotherham on Saturday. Make sure you drop a thumbs up on this like, on the video and subscribe if you're new. Let me know your thoughts on the game and I'll see you Saturday. Come on, you Reds. Come on, you playoff Reds.